outfit from the Uncharted series, and Ellie's backpack from The Last of Us. Get it! Also, if you have any religious artifacts, put those away. Just tuck them under your seats, because we're about to summon some dark spirits. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hump Day Show. I'm Jerks, accompanied by, of course, by Los the Most, aka hey. West Best West Coast Co. I don't know. Fuck. And JP yeah. Linkster 101. <laughs> yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what up, guys? So many things he calls himself, like he refers himself to, but whatever. Who cares? It's just low shade ass. Anyways, uh, I guess we're here to talk about the Game Award nominees. Uh, they were just yes, this past week. And uh, we're actually going to be also live streaming that as well. Um, I think we're going to do it on my channel, but we're also going to be doing it on the, on the three-way podcast channel. So you can watch on either or. That's twitch.tv forward slash the three-way podcast with another three or twitch.tv forward slash jrx4x. Um, but anyways, so there's 29 categories. <laughs> Not Hell no! Nah. We're That's not gonna shit. do all fucking yeah. twenty nine yeah. categories. Like, There's some shit that should not even be on there. <laughs> That's like That's like giving trophies to everybody. It's just fucking ridiculous. Hey, everybody got to get a participation group. Uh, 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 golly, it's <laughs> horrible. Um, horrible. But let's go ahead and start off with the one of the ones that was like, let's talk about it. Uh, the one of the uh, we're gonna do like five, but one of the one of the categories we want to start off with is audio design. Yeah, audio, audio design. design. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, what are the nominees? On All right. The nominees for audio design are Call of Duty: Modern Warfare, Infinity Ward, Activision, Control, Remedy, Five Hundred Five Games, Death Stranding, Kojima Productions, SIE, Sony Inter- uh, Interactive Entertainment, right? Yeah. Uh, Gears Five, The Coalition, Xbox Studios, Resident Evil Two, Capcom. And Sakiro Shadows Die Twice. I've yet Shadows to play that. I need to play that. Actually, one. it's really good. It's really Is hard it? though. But yeah, so what I what I can tell you uh, regarding that category, what are they trying to like pick? Like the audio fit? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Like, like, like I don't music. Understand. The 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 way the sound of the game is 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 is, is like converted for, to your ears. Like how how everything yeah. makes you feel like just ba- by listening. Because to me, so was, for example. Like well, Resident Evil 2, I thought yeah. had really great audio design because yeah. you could kind of, if you had headphones on and even in stereo, you could kind of get a sense of where that enemy was at, what direction, yeah. just by the sound, right? Yeah. Resident yeah. Evil 2 to me had really go, good audio design. Now, as far as the best, in my opinion, now I heard Gears has really good uh, <laughs> audio design. I didn't play with it, but my favorite, yeah, and even. It's a love hate relationship. It's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You know what? I, I was leaning towards that one too, dude. I was like, man, I really like their sound. The game, the 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 gun sounds so freaking good. It sounds so crisp, and like you can hear the the fucking like uh, the empty shells from the from the guns like coming yeah. down. And like, but the only issue with it, man, dude, is. Like initially when it first came out, the the footsteps were super fucking loud. You can hear them from like miles away. And then their kill streak, like one of their kill streaks, is like, oh my god, it's so blaringly loud. Like it's so like, like the fucking helicopters like, or the airplanes coming by. It's that's so like loud. some of the bad of modern warfare. It's yeah. that it's too it's good, like yeah. true to true to uh, <laughs> reality because. Yeah. It literally hurts your ears sometimes on how these guns sound. It really does. The bombs, the the nukes, the helicopters. Like it sounds like you're literally there, and this is fucking loud. <laughs> it's too good for its own good. I, I think that re- between Resident Evil Two and Gear, um, Gears, uh, actually no, Gears Two, uh, Two Gears Five, and yeah, Gears um, Five. Yeah. and Call of Duty. I think that would be your best three nominations. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, with Gears Five, from what I've seen, mm-hmm. it's it's not that bad. I, it's just it's it's a little bit different because it's a whole different world and the chainsaws and everything that's included in it and mm-hmm. the different weapons. I like Resident Evil Two the way the gun sounds. It's very crisp too, mm-hmm. um, and it's more available to the ears because of the the mode. You know, you can hear the ambience. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. it's so, meant to. You're not meant to yeah. hear. A hundred different sounds. Yeah, like, 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 like
walking yeah. around, your footsteps, yeah. you know, you're yeah, paying attention. Yeah. Well, who so, would you guys pick for audio design then? I, I, I would be between, honestly, Call of Duty and Resident Evil 2. I think Resident Evil 2 could You be know, awesome. and mm-hmm. after this conversation, I'm kind of like, yeah, Resident Evil 2, man. I feel like the ambience they included in it, um, the, the mm-hmm. music. I know this isn't mm-hmm. necessarily a music. Yeah, it's uh, not. It's more of just the sound effects. Mm-hmm. But nonetheless, I mean the the ambience when they would trigger yeah. the the mood the mood of the music. Well, they they, they, have, they have it under music. audio design. It's uh, the little like subtext is recognizing the best in game audio and sound design. Uh, for me though, I I actually did debate on this a little bit because I actually do like the music and the way the 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 game sounds for Death Stranding. I think the music mm. and, and the way the, the it sounds like when I was editing that video when you were playing it. I was like, damn, yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. really good. Like, I, I actually enjoyed, like, how the game sounded and, like, how it sounded like, it whenever oh, yeah. the, the those sure. things were coming after you and shit. I thought that was really sick. Yeah, yeah. But, um, no, and mm-hmm. that, and Death Stranding also, a big part of uh, the, the music. And he, Ko- Kojima, yeah. uh, purposely triggers the music in certain spots yeah. uh, to kind of give you that emotional feeling. So yeah. uh, audio plays a big part in that game for right. sure. Uh, yeah. It has to be included as a nominee. Winner, I don't know. Uh, no, no, I, I wouldn't say winner. Uh, for me, my choice is Gears 5 because I, I, mm. played a, I played a good chunk of Gears like to the yeah, story. Yeah, Gears 5 is pretty good. Uh, the sound design is really good. The the, the guns sound good. Um, when you're like, there's this one level where you're like in like this dark little like underground sewer area, and, and it sounds really good. It's it's really creepy too. I was like, oh shit, and like it's it's just really good. Like overall, in, in terms of just the sound part, but uh, honestly, probably if <laughs> I mean as far as gears alone, this is probably like the only category I think they're gonna win if they win anything. But mm-hmm. yeah, for me, gears five. No, right. I, I, I think everybody deserves it. Like everybody that they mentioned, as far as I'm a nominee, like yeah. it's pretty, they're pretty well deserved. So whoever wins is like, you deserve it. Okay, they well, are. They are. Let's they move are. on to their next category. We're gonna talk about action adventure <laughs> game. Okay. Now they, so, right. yeah, yeah, they yeah, had two categories <laughs> for action. They it's the same shit, y'all. They had one same called shit. action, and then they had another one called action adventure. I was like, okay, uh, we're just going action. Adventure. Oh shit, but. Um, for their subtext here, it says for the best action adventure game combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. That's their Correct. like their critiques or whatever what they're looking for. Um, in this category, we got Borderlands Three by Gearbox. We have Control again by Remedy, Death Stranding Kojima, Resident Evil Two Capcom, The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening Grizzo, and uh, Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice Again from Soft uh, from Software Activision. Um, this one for me, I think I picked on this one. I think I picked Sekiro. I think as far as action adventure, it probably would be that one. But because I don't like Borderlands Three, <laughs> I tried it. I, I don't like it. Uh, Legend of Zelda. I mean, it's a. It's pretty much what a remaster, reboot, whatever. Or not a remaster. Yes. Remake. It's like a remake. It's a remake. It's a remake. Yeah. It's basically the same shit too. Look, honestly, I think out of that. Uh, though the main three I think would be Resident Evil 2, mm-hmm. Sekiro, and uh, Legend of Zelda. And honestly, Legend of Zelda has a lot of puzzles, and the way you traverse and the way they remade it, it's like a classic. Yeah, I I think it wins this category. Well, yeah, you're right um, about that. Wow, I'm I'm surprised. Of that. No, yeah, I'm a little I mean, surprised by that too. <laughs> yeah, Resident Evil 2 also being a remake. Kind yeah. of the same thing, yeah. but man, it is so well done. Mm-hmm. To me, I mean, as far as playing Death Stranding and Resident Evil Two, mm-hmm. man, Resident Evil Two is just on its. I think it's on another level, man. Yes, Death Stranding is unique, yeah. but man, RE Two is just so good, so well made, so well paced. Mm-hmm. I mean, come, come on. I I hear a lot of good things about Control. Uh, Sekiro's not my type of game. Never really. Con- uh, control isn't it. my t- control isn't my type of game. Really? Uh, did you, you know ever what? play? I, did you ever play that um quantum thing? Whatever it was called. I never liked quantum it. Game. I hate. I, I I borrowed it from Lowe's. I literally played it for like ten minutes. I was like, this game is stupid. No, oh, uh, I, I'm gonna let you. I'm a, I'm a, uh I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I'm gonna let you play the show. See if you. If nah, you like, bro. It's but, the same um... shit. <laughs> you stop time. You moved it. Like, it's fucking stupid. I hate that shit. Yeah, yeah, but Res- <laughs> Resident Evil 2 to me takes 
takes Dead Stranding's title as, I mean, we'll get into the later categories, but RE2 is just another plane. Yeah. And we played this game back in what, February? When was it? Yeah, February. Uh, and it's early, still... Early January, early January. I mean, late uh, January, January. Yeah, and, and it's still competing till all year. It was kind of like trying to find that one game that can beat it out. Yeah, but I, I feel like the, the, this year, though, it's been kind of lackluster for, as far as video games. So <sighs> Resident Evil 2, for sure, I think is going to be winning a lot of awards this year. But it, honestly, there wasn't really like a polarizing game that everybody's like, oh, man, I this mean, is so good and blah, blah, blah. You have to play it. It was mostly like, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Yeah, this is okay. But I don't know. I mean, that's, that's I mean, my opinion so far for this year. Well, I mean, I, I think out of Resident Evil 2 and the new Star Wars game this year. Man, they didn't include the new Star Wars game, though, because it was on the cutoff for the selections. Yeah, they that's some bullshit because some bullshit. that game would and Pokemon would have taken a lot of awards. Pokemon? Yeah, come on, it's, come on. it's the same, man. Pokemon, and, come on, man. Uh, yeah, and Jedi. fix your internet, too. Why do you look like you're... Like, yeah, Lowe's, your internet is so using bad. A, using a potato cam. Yeah, you're so bad. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting uh the paparazzi's coming at me right now. Oh, okay, you know, okay, yeah, I got you. When you're yeah. around, when you're a yeah, star right, in the gaming obviously. industry, yeah. they constantly yeah. follow you. So, well, I, I, I think, I think, I think Legend of Zelda is gonna win this one. I really do. Okay, so you got Legend um, of Zelda and uh, Los. Who do you have? Well, it's not a fair category without you know Jedi in there, without Pokemon, but I'm gonna give it to RE2. Okay. RE2 and Resident Evil, Zelda, and I pick Sekiro. All right, all right. Yeah. Let's let's move to the next category. In the next category, we're going to ongoing game. Uh, awarded to a game for outstanding development Rainbow of Six. ongoing content that involves the <laughs> player experience say that over too. time. The, <laughs> the nominees are Apex, Legends, Respawn, Boo. Destiny 2, Bungie, Boo. Final, Final oh. Fantasy XIV, Square Enix, Boo. Boo. Fortnite, Epic Games. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Ubisoft. Hey, give me, give me the flag. Hey, paparazzi, where you at? Come on. Oh, all right, there we go. So I'm yeah. guessing you like Tom Clancy's. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty frank. Uh, I don't even know why Destiny's in that bitch. Uh, fuck Destiny and their bullshit. That's funny you say that because that's my pick, <laughs> dude. Ever since, ever since they went free to play, they released the new content. <laughs> I've seen so many people playing it. I finally did the raid for the first raid they have in there. Mm -hmm. Like it brought me back, bro. And like I love the first one. The when the second one came out, it pissed me off, and I, and I, I stopped playing it. I sold the game. But then once they started changing it again, made it free to play. Um, basically, you get all the content except like the latest, the last two uh, DLC releases. Um, but mm -hmm. it's it's really fun now. Like. Now that you there's a community there, like people wanting to play it and able to play it, play it anywhere, PC, Xbox, you know, PlayStation, cross saves. Like, I don't have to start again on the PC side because there's cross saves from my Xbox. Well, I mean, I'm going to pick uh, uh, Tom Clancy's. Um, Rainbow Six I think, Yeah, I think it's in time with uh... Fortnite. I, I, think, uh, I think Fortnite has done its very job, especially when they came out with Fortnite 2, whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's Fortnite yeah. 2, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, they I'm call it chapter put, two, but it's Fortnite too. Yeah, it's Fortnite too, and so I feel like it's gonna be between Fortnite and this one, and I'm gonna go with Tom Clancy's simply because of the no, fact that I mean, I'm not gonna lie though, the Fortnite, Fortnite's like uh, little like black hole thing, and then coming back again and uh, having a new map, like it, it, it did kind of like uh, like bring back a lot of people. They added they added like bots to the game to help the people who are super casual like me to play the game and feel like hey I can keep up with these people but you're really not playing against real people but I I, I think for sure it, it more than likely it's gonna be either Fortnite or, or Siege um, yeah I don't I'm not I'm not really in, in agreement that they have Apex in here I think that's the newest game here I think that one just came out this year this, that came out this year yeah and these other games have been out for for a good good minute yeah, they could, yeah done, I mean, they, they could have done overwatch instead overwatch been out long yeah ago. i yeah. agree um uh, apex i mean it was super popular when it first came out mm -hmm. it was like one of the most played games for a good couple of months there yeah. but then it kind of died off that's why i can't give it the award uh fortnite just like you stated kind of did a revamp 
I I even played it for a bit uh, yeah. after the update, and I like it. It's and you're right. It's kind of catering to that casual player who's not super hardcore, doesn't know how to build a tower. And I don't know how to do uh, all those point, fucking nineties. Point like, six shit. seconds. Yeah, um, they fucking build skyscrapers so fast. I'm like, how do you do yeah. that? <laughs> Uh, but Fortnite deserves to be on here. Destiny 2, as you said, uh, making it free to play about time. I tried to jump in, couldn't do it again. Just couldn't. That's why I can't give it the title. Rainbow Six, man. Not only are they catering to the just you know new player base that they're gaining, but they're keeping these updates for the veterans in there. And then yeah. plus. They have the competitive side where their competitive uh, uh, Rainbow Six Siege uh, leagues are still going on, actually gaining more popularity by the season. Mm -hmm. And so not only is Rainbow Six doing it on the just casual player mm -hmm. side, they're also doing it on the pro side. So that's why I got to give it to, to Siege, man. Okay. Uh, no, I... I... I think Siege is okay, but for me, it, it's too slow. I like to play a little bit faster than that. Um, but, yeah, let's move on to the next category. Um, the next category we're going to talk about is multiplayer game. For outstanding online multiplayer game and design, including co-op, uh, massively multiplayer experiences, uh, irrespective of game genre and or platform. Uh, so uh, the nominees are, again, Apex Legends, Respawn, Borderlands 3, Gearbox, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Infinity Ward, Tetris 99. Arika? That was a surprise. Arika? A R I K A. Okay. Uh, and Tom Clancy's Division 2. Ubisoft. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think on this one? So I'm going to go straight to Tetris 99. I oh, mean, it, it's it's a game that I always <laughs> jump back into. That's funny. Literally, whenever I'm in the restroom, boom. Let me do a couple <laughs> quick games of Tetris 99. It's easy. It's quick. I don't got to wait on nobody to log in. I don't got to text nobody to log in. Boom. I jump in. 99 players and me. Uh, and that's it. It's simple and easy. It's, uh, uh, the Division 2 hasn't done it for me in the uh, yeah, multiplayer Division aspect. Yeah, Division 2 died off so fast. Like, yeah, Apex hasn't done it for me. I feel like the gunplay in Apex is, is overrated. It's not that great. Wow. I feel Destiny 2's gunplay is better. I feel uh, Modern Warfare's gunplay is way better. Uh, Borderlands. Why wasn't Modern Warfare included in this? It is. That's a good. Oh, it is. Oh, it okay. is. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'll give it to that. This this category is weak. Uh, um, really, really weak. It's so easy just to give it to Call of Duty. Like, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't agree that they put Division Two in here. But then again, like when it first came out, it was like, oh, everybody's playing it. It's, it's so much fun. So I kind of understand it, but. Uh, I think they kind of messed up with their like their versions of the raid, where it's like eight people and stuff. Like uh, I didn't, I don't know. I think that kind of like killed it off for me. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, the game isn't yeah. terrible. It's just it's really hard to get eight fucking people together to play a game. Yeah. Um, Tetris ninety nine. I'm not too shocked about it. I think that's a that's a decent game to have in here, especially the way they designed it for the Switch and how you can play with a bunch of people. Uh, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Uh, it's 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 fast paced. It's fun. It's crisp, like when you when you're shooting, whatever. Uh, I have issues with the game. I I, I love hate it. Uh, Borderlands Three can go in the garbage bin. I don't care for it. My game is Apex Legends, as best multiplayer game. Um, no. The Apex Legends um, <laughs> pushed a lot of stuff towards Fortnite and all these other games, where the little things they added in this game like are now branching out everywhere they're sliding mechanics they're pinging systems mm -hmm. um their 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 gunplay for me it's smoother than any of these other games here like in choice um it's it's a lot of fun it's it's of course uh a groups of three um they add like little uh things here and there um if they were to do a model like what Fortnite did kind of in the beginning where they're like updating constantly, maybe it'll gain, uh, like gain more traction and more popularity, mm -hmm. but because they're not really into wanting to do the whole crunch thing. Like there was a whole issue of that before. Um, they are a little bit slower with all the uh, updates and whatever, but they still have the concept there and there's still people playing it. Like, but right now call of duty has been like taking me away from apex, even though I kind of want to go back to apex. But as far as like a multiplayer game, I really love apex legends on this. All right. 
All right, let's, let's go. go. To the, let's go to the next category, and Excellent. this is gonna this is gonna be our, our our last one of the night, and I think you guys know what it is. Yeah. Best oh, no. mobile game. Mobile game. Come on now. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Diablo and they're. Everybody has a cell phone. Everybody has a phone. Don't you? Hey, how are you talking to me right now? On the phone. Yeah, All yeah. right, then. Uh -huh. That easy. Thank you. Nah, yeah. I'm just kidding. Game of the year. Recognizing a game that delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. Nominees are Control, Remedy, Boom. <laughs> Death Stranding, Kojima Productions, uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, The Outer Worlds, Resident Evil 2. Why was that even there? What do you mean? Outer Worlds is not that good. Really? What? It's yeah. it's pretty solid. It's and I actually, good. actually, I think I think you would like it a lot because you're big no. on RPGs. Yeah. I, no. I, I don't. I, I played a little bit. Mm. A little bit. A little. Yeah. Bit. You need to get into it. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I will, hands down, right now. I've been telling you, motherfuckers, since day, uh, uh, uh January, since January 2019, I've been telling y'all. Game of the year will be Resident Evil 2, hands down. No game has come across as good as this. Uh, even though I don't care if Elias hates it, it's a remake. It's an amazing remake. It's a different take on, on the Resident Evil 2, especially the way the angles are, the games are, the, the music, the characters. That's why they're making a Resident Evil 3 again. Um, mm -hmm. So Resident Evil 2 will win this one easily, easily peasy. Lose? Um, Man, this is a tough one because you got – Super Smash Brothers. Oh um, my God! With your fucking Nintendo, dog. Uh -huh. Just, well, just pick it, dog. The <laughs> amount of content, the amount of content in that game is just crazy. When you have a all those fucking the, stickers, the, the I'm pillars, good. the pillars. Who cares about the stickers? Exactly. Uh, when you got all the pillars of video, trophies, you fucking coward. When you got when you <laughs> got the, when you got the pillars of video games uh, throughout history, all in one game, fighting each other. Um, it makes it pretty good. But no, it is not my game of the year. Resident Evil 2 yep. blew our minds. Uh, showed us some, like, continue Capcom streak of just putting out hits after hits. Yeah. Um, yeah. They did it with Resident Evil uh, uh, 7. Uh, yeah. And they did it with Monster Hunter. And then, boom, Resident Evil 2. And you're right, there's rumors of Resident Evil 3. I can't yeah. wait. 2020. It's going to be lit. Uh but yeah, I, I gotta give it to Resident Evil too, man. It's that good. It's it's I can't. I mean, uh, yeah, Death Stranding, notable. I mean, a very unique game. If there was a category for a unique game, <laughs> yes, Death Stranding <laughs> would win that. I think, no, yeah, that, I think there hey, is I'll, one hey, sort of like hey, that. Hey, it's, hey, look, hey, I'll give it to it. Death Stranding. Unique game, game direction, maybe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's our exactly. game direction. It's our game direction. It is. Yeah. It is. So, totally winning that category. But when it comes to game of the year, man, you got to blow my mind. And yes, Death Stranding story is really good. Outer World story is really good. But Resident Evil 2, even though we knew what was what was the story, it was still that, like, it was still amazing. And yeah. so, I say that takes it. Do I think it's actually going to win it? Probably not. Watch with us on Thursday. Wait, Most you don't think Resident won't. Evil 2 is going to win game of the Resident year? Resident Evil 2 is going to win. Hands down. I don't think so, bro. You have Jeff Keeley's all up on Kojima's dick, oh, uh, and he yeah, bit, did this trending. Then you got the voters, Super Smash Brothers, Ultimate. I, I mean, I want Resident Evil to win it. That's who I who I no, who should I, win it. Do I think they're gonna win it? No. I think okay. My my for sure vote. I voted for this. I think it's Resident Evil Two as well. Uh, the the re the remake is well done. The new RE engine is amazing. Um, they have a new game coming out as well that uh, was called Project Resistance. Uh, oh, yeah. Interesting, uh, too. Um, this we'll one, see. Resident Evil They're 2. On the street. Resident Evil 2, like the original game, was like one of my favorite Resident Evils ever. Um, Resident Evil 7 kind of like revived Resident Evil because uh, 6 six was terrible. 6 was terrible. 5 was I like mean, getting there, but it wasn't there. Weren't we playing yet. like, weren't we playing online on 6? I you tried to, like, but I fucking You were like, it. fuck this game. Yeah, it was fuck so stupid. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like think, think Bob that like they, they did something different with seven and then they brought, uh, Resident Evil two. Um, the, the whole thing about the, the, these reboots and remakes, I was like, come on, bro. Like do something new. You know what I mean? But Agreed. 
like this this one is well done this is in, more in, in in the line of how they re, re uh not rebranded but brought back god of war like if you're gonna do a reboot or remake whatever or or, or just continue a genre that's been there for like forever you want to do it like this like how god of war did yeah. it how resident evil 2 did it like if you're gonna like they did it the right way now the wave is like that like oh okay now we want the remakes of three veronica and then four um i i i mean i'm okay now with it seeing that what they did for resident evil 2 but i would prefer they don't do that but then again that's not for me they're doing it for the new gen kind of like the new pokemons for the new gen it ain't for me um but yeah, Resident Evil 2 for sure is going to win, I think. Yeah, and, and just to give a special shout out to this other category, action, because there's action adventure, <laughs> and there's action. Action? Uh, yeah, uh, action, I think Devil May Cry 5 is going to win that one. Uh, oh yeah, in the in the action game categories, Apex Legends, Astral Chain, Call of Duty, Devil May Cry 5, Gears 5, and Metro Exodus. Astral yeah. Chain. I think we all know Astral oh, Chain needs to win that yeah, one. Okay. 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 But, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I I think that this year, we have a point. It has been lackluster on, like, the content as well. But no. uh, next year, and I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. Next year, game of the year, Cyberpunk. I already called it. I mean, that's not, really, that's not really, a, like, a hot take. That's <laughs> I can't wait. Like, ah! Hey, no. Yeah. Hey, I do recommend uh, that. There have some best games that we skipped on. Control and Outer Worlds being some of them. I think we need to go back and give them a real look. Nah, control. Nah. nah I'm control. Good. I, I can, I'll, take, I'll check out Control. I did I did play Outer Worlds. Or I was like, man, fuck this garbage. Uninstall. 30, 30 minutes. I don't, like, I, don't like, hey, I don't like Fallout games. That's no, no, a Fallout game. I'm good. Check out, check out the premise for Control. So it's this person who has oh my the power God. to do certain things Anyways, in real life. Oh, wait. Think, is that content break? Oh, it's the same fucking shit. I think next year's categories are going to be a lot harder to pick. Oh, 2020 new systems? 2020, we have... Um, no, not even the new system because that's at the end of the year. But the we're gonna have Resident Evil, uh, new Resident Evil games. Three. Well, that supposedly. Project Resistance. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're gonna have Project Resistance first. But I don't know if they're gonna be releasing yeah, yeah. three at the same year. Resident Evil uh, would, Three. Uh, I don't know. I don't even uh, at this point it doesn't even look like they're gonna continue the the numbers now. Like they're probably gonna just do remakes. But next year, yeah, we have Cyberpunk. Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy VII, VII, the remake, Last Woo! of Us Two, um, oh my God, uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> There's like so many games that are gonna come out next year that it's gonna be a lot harder to pick. But the PlayStation year... game, the, the Samurai one, what's it called? Oh, oh, uh, um, oh, I know what you're talking about. Weird. It's the Sucker Punch, oh, one, right? No, no, no. It's not Sucker Punch. It's it's another no, one. No, that's the game developers. It's gonna be it's gonna be jam packed next. Year. <laughs> it's gonna be a crazy. Year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but crazy. next year is gonna be crazier. But again, yeah, we're gonna yeah. be we're gonna be um, uh, live streaming the uh, the game awards. Uh, it's gonna be on twitch.tv forward slash the through a podcast and twitch.tv forward slash uh, jrx4x. Uh, you can watch an either or channel. Uh, that's gonna be December twelfth on a Thursday. I think at seven p.m. Central Time. Um, hold on, oh. Let me double check because I don't want to get that wrong. <laughs> and then be like, where the fuck is everybody? I don't be getting out of work and shit. <laughs> um, yeah, December 12th, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, we're going to be live streaming. Um, uh, but again, uh, this has been our like quick recap of some of the nominees and some of our, 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 our um, opinions on them and our, uh, our choices. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you, guys. Please hit the like, subscribe if you enjoyed what you watch, share. That helps out a lot. We can find us on... On our main podcast, you can find us on Spotify, Anchor, uh, Apple Podcasts, all podcast platforms, to be honest. Uh, that comes out every Monday at 6 a.m. Um, Wednesdays, of course, Hump Day shows. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, SoundCloud. Uh, oh, yeah, we do have SoundCloud. We do have SoundCloud. <laughs> we, have Anchor, <laughs> but, we have a lot yeah, of shit. Um, We're trying. But, We're trying. <laughs> but all right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Peace. Peace.